Oost! Welcome back to the channel guys, thank you again for clicking on, it's always appreciated and in today's video we are talking about Trigger's Broom Yes, my flat trailer, what am I going to do with it next? Now depending how long you've all followed me on social media uh, mainly TikTok, now I do have a video, one of my very first videos I did for YouTube was when I bought this trailer and rebuilt it, that was when I was playing about with YouTube Ah, there we go So, let's get into the facts and figures of it Trigger's Broom I bought from Ferguson Transport Bay back in 2021 a £4,100 XVAT. It's about 200 quid on her on paint, etc. Uh, and I'd say since then, right? By the way, if you want to see what an idiot I am, I use a Sharpie. Whoops. So, since then, I've had the trailer for just two years. I think I've spent just under £5,000 on it, rebuilding it. Because, to be honest, it has had everything done to it. I know it sounds bad looking at the bright side of rebuilding a trailer, but I mean, on the bright side, I learned a lot from rebuilding this trailer. Uh, I can now do things, I'm more confident because I had to do it because I had to keep myself on the road, I didn't have much money, I was stressed. Big shout out to Callum, uh, my pal, he, the amount of times he came out with me when we were on the pouring rain, changing things, broken springs, saddles, oh God. Um, the time him and Jamie from uh, McIntyre Engineering came down to help me do the spring eye bushes on two axles. I mean, we dropped the axles off this thing and lifted the trailer up. That was a big job. Oh, God damn it. I swear to God, I spend more time under this trailer than I do my... I'm not going to finish that sentence because that's not very proper. Front to the back, what have I replaced? Both air tanks, they have been replaced because they rotted away. Now, first axle. Both shockies have been replaced, both airbags have been replaced, both chambers have been replaced, both uh, slack adjusters have play, been replaced, S-cam bushes have been replaced, S-cam not on the front have been replaced, what else? Oh, and the shoes have been replaced on the front, plus new backing points, that's the first axle. Oh, let's just roll under here. I forgot to add... Front axle had a brand new spring put out as well. Middle axle, second axle, middle axle, we whatever call it. Uh, this one did a belter on me. Now, if you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen, uh, just before I flew out to Canada, this one decided not just to break one spring, it decided to break two springs. Whole axle flipped up, caused a load of damage in the process. Uh, this airbag went, and a back airbag. The whole trailer collapsed. It was bad at the side of the road. I imagine you get the load the load off and basically make two axles out of three broken axles at the side of the road but on the second axle what has been replaced both springs obviously uh, shock absorbers both of them both saddles uh, is that aye both chambers have been done we have had no new slackies these are fine s cam bushes and are the drums still in this one no, drums are fine in this one, but it did have new shoes, so it has been realigned. Oh, and obviously new airbags. How the XABS unit? That has been replaced twice. That went and it lasted eight months, and it went again and replaced. I'm still waiting for warranty on that one. That was about I think it was six hundred and fifty pound the first time, and then nine hundred pound the second time because of demand for them. Hey, right, let's go in there again. In fact, I'm just going to go right in the back. Axle back axle. This has had no springs, but it's had all the U bolts done. It has had new shockies. It has had both drums done and a reline. New slack adjusters, new chamber, both airbags. In fact, these have been done twice actually. Um, all completed and done. Coming right out to the back, I replaced all the lights at the back end, rewired the junction box. I put LEDs on, they used to be bulbs and all that, but I got LEDs fed because going in, in the woods, bulbs rattle and they were constantly blowing, so spent a bit of money, got some LEDs on and some good reverse lights. Oh, by the way, if you see my TikTok recently, you would have noticed this wheel absolutely detonated, tire just was gone, uh, destroyed all of this, and it's got a new wing, spray suspension, new wheel, etc. Uh, new wheel, I think there's four new wheels, one, two, three, five, Four new wheels, aye, four new wheels in this lorry, this trailer. Now the other thing with Trigger's broom is, I have resprayed her twice, mainly because she does get to a point, doesn't matter how much you clean her, she just constantly looks dirty. So when she went for her last MOT, after spending, I don't know, 
About three hours washing her, she wasn't looking any cleaner, so I just resprayed her. It was easier. Now, I know this trailer is not sounding exactly uh, the best purchase, but it was a good purchase. You've got to remember, I did buy it for next to nothing. I was in a tight position. I had no other option, and this trailer got put to work. It grafted hard, and it is a light-spec timber trailer. It's only meant to take, like, this can carry a ton more, and for a flat, that's pretty good. It can carry, what did I get on this? 28,300, I will get with this setup. And with that, it's mainly because of the trailer, because that trailer is about a ton lighter than a Deniston or a Heavy Duty Robertson's, or, you know, it's an SDC, but you get Heavy Duty SDCs. So it has been put through the belt, it's been worked hard. She is a, a 2011, that's when she was built. So she's earned her keep, she's done a bit for me, I've had my money's worth out of her, and she's still a great trailer, right? Her MOT runs out in August, and this is the point of this video. Going to the facts and figures and working it out, I can't decide where to put it for another MOT and the main problem is I have with this trailer, because it's lighter spec and when she's carrying 27, 28 ton on her and she's turning in the woods, the axles are taking a battering. So my axles are BPW and how they work is, here's the axle, that is the saddle and the U-bolts and all of that bolts together, right? But the problem I've been having is when there's a lot of weight on it and it's just a natural thing and it's getting loaded in out of ditches, they're flexing very hard. And the result is that is basically the axles going out of line. So one axle will be over here, one will be there and etc. And it starts to wear down and the axle wears down and it basically ends up going like glass. So, so it doesn't matter if you replace the U-bolts, it doesn't matter how t much you tighten them, they just keep moving. And it doesn't mean the trailer is completely default or defected. It's not like it's like useless anymore, it's just maybe not good for this work anymore. So I've got a decision to make. If I pull through another MOT, I am going to have to sort this out, but this is not the main breadwinner. This trailer sits around most of the time, but, because I use the loader. So I could just keep it, but I would still have to, you know, try and sort this problem or slow the problem down where that means a, like a full week's welding. Uh, buggering about because as soon as you're putting that weight on it and loading in ditches it, it's just going to twist and go out again so you, it needs to be done and there's a lot of time involved in that whether it's as it stands now it's working perfectly fine if you're just running normal flat work with it bricks fish feed etc but when you start putting logs on and going in and out of the forest yeah that's where she's not fit for purpose anymore now the other issue i do have is with the trailer i don't tend to like to take the trailer south just because it looks a wee bit rough. Even though it's mechanically sound, just doesn't look pretty going down the road. Doesn't look going past the DVSA checkpoints. I mean, it does draw an eye. I mean, if you look at my lorry, my lorry's nice and clean. She's minted. And then you see the trail and you're like, I mean, I would. I'd be like, that doesn't look like it gets maintained properly. Don't get me wrong. You go underneath and they'll be finding everything sorted. There's new parts. I've been pulled. I've been checked with it before. They compliment how well kept it is underneath. Um, it's just the appearance of it. I think there's three options for this trailer right now, okay? <laughs> And here are the three options. Keep it, sell it, scrap it. Now, if I keep the trailer, it might not cost me much at the beginning, but I think it's gonna cost me more in the long run trying to keep it on the work she's doing the now. So, mm, like it says, it would cost me a few hundred quid to stick it through an MOT. If I wanted to get up to the spec I wanted, I'd have to spend a couple thousand on it, maybe more, eh, plus my time off as well. So it's gonna cost you up to about four grand. So I don't really find that to be an option, sadly. I would love to keep the trailer. I mean, it is Trigger's broom. It's done me well. It's done its purpose. It's earned its rights to be here. But at the same time, I run a business. We have to move on. Sell it. I could just sell the trailer, right? As it stands, I get between four and five grand for it, I think. But here's the thing. It has about three grand's worth of wheels and tires on it. So the wheels and tires are worth about three grand alone. The trailer itself, that would just, if you took them away, would add it about the trailer's only worth about two grand, right? Oh, so that was why I would come to the options of scrapping it. Because if I took the wheels and tires off it, and maybe some of the new parts are fitted to it, because the next trailer we're buying will have BPW axles, uh, like, you know, maybe take the, the drums off or the... Uh, what else can I take off it? I can take the air tanks, I can take some of the slack adjusters off because they've only been put on a, a month ago. So, I, scrapping it, get about two grand scrap, three grand in the tyres, keep them in the value, and that's the end of it. But it means I have to find a new trailer. Oh, now here's the issue of buying a new trailer. What do I buy to replace it with? Because this is bought and paid for. 
it's not the braid with her. The loader trailer is my, ma uh, my main trailer. So this is just sitting in the yard. And it is just for the backup work. It doesn't cost me anything to sit here. So I'm not going to go buy brand new. I'm not going to buy semi second hand because I'd start to finance it. And even if I did, it'd be a lot of cash out. You know what I mean? If you spent 15 grand just to sit there, you would start to get a bit tetchy about it. And this is the thing. I think I need to start looking around for a trailer that is, you know, a wee bit fresher and more heavy duty, right? And that is what she's for. Wee bit fresher, more heavy duty, give her a lick of paint. And if I could do that, find one for around about between five and eight thousand, right? I don't think it's impossible. It's hard, but I don't think it's impossible uh, to find what I'm looking for. Buy that, keep the tires, wheels and tires, there's three grand's worth in value. Uh, so it means I'm good for the next year and a bit, not needing to buy tri uh, tires of four. Uh, keep the wheels and tires. Because that gives me about a year and a bit means I don't have to buy wheel, uh, any tyres for it. So I get three grand in value there. Scrap the whole lot. Keep the pins, obviously, because they're handy to keep. And that's it done, dusted. But we don't jump anything rationally. We do think it through. We look at all options. And we just try and uh, make phone calls and see what other options there is. So... If you've stuck around to the end of the video, thank you very much as always. It's deeply appreciated. Uh, if you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment what you think, option one, two, or three. Or if you've got a fourth option or something you can suggest, please comment below. Um, it's always appreciated. And like I say, guys, thank you all for watching my content. Thank you for watching all my videos, everything I do. I love it. I love doing what I do when I can. Uh, so this would be just like an insight of the decisions I have to make. So hopefully we can make a decision together on this one. Uh, but I better get cracking. Flat out, flat broke. Oost!